Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Brumenville. Today we are here in our little skelly spawner area. If you've never seen this place, this is just a little skeleton spawner that I made uh, a while back. I don't remember what episode this was, but fun little project to do. Oh, should make like some more of these glasses so they connect better like this. That could be interesting. Um, but yeah, so I've been over here doing some killing of some skeletons, basically just mending up all of our tools and our elytra and our boots. Um, and uh, we have a few bones. Uh, and I started running out of room. So yeah, I've been collecting bones. I don't know exactly why, but I have done some work. Uh, it Hello, Mr. Pigman. It's pretty insane uh, the amount of work that I uh, have done. Um, and I guess it's not necessarily insane. Here, we can run. Um, I did a lot of planning that I actually wasn't really planning to do off camera, but then all of the video footage got corrupted for some reason. So uh, the I was going to do a planning episode um, with the keep and uh well it's all basically planned out except for a few bits of it um but the video was lost so i'm just gonna walk you through it and uh, we may jump into like creative mode or something to fly around and look at it but i have done some work and i think it's gonna be good i think you're gonna like it also fair warning it is morning and uh i probably stayed up a little bit too late watching one piece uh let's just walk over there i think that'll be good get to walk around the gypsy camp a little bit more look at all the little fishies they're actually pretty spread out today hmm. usually they are all clobbered in like one corner or something like that uh let's go the where the path will eventually connect Ooh. i still like those leaves i still like them they're cool but yeah so we um have done a good amount of work and you're gonna be able to see it <laughs> And I think you're going to like it. Um, I definitely like it. I have never really planned a keep out before. Um, but it was it was pretty it was pretty fun, actually. There's the, the temple. Mountains coming into view now. And you'll soon be able to see. Oh, yeah. So as you can tell, it's a pretty vertical structure. And I tried to actually make it a little weird. Um, I tried to make it a little strange. And you'll see that in just a second. That was an experiment I was doing that I, I, I think I like. Um, yeah, it's it's fun. But what we um, are going to do today is not the keep, actually. Um, <laughs> sadly, I'm going to troll you with this. And then we're going to do something totally different. But... Um, I have decorated this area. Uh, if you didn't couldn't tell in the thumbnail, I decorated it in the thumbnail of the last video. I just didn't have time for the video. Um, so, yeah, I decorated this area. I think it looks pretty good. Added a few little like little mailboxes or something. Had a whole bunch of flower areas, some seats, bushes and things, barrels of stuff. Um, and one of these has my actual stuff. I need to, I'm going to make a little baby garden here. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it looks pretty good. And then you get to this. And one of you had said that this could be like a giant, or well, it wasn't necessarily that it could be a giant portcullis, but that this area could act like that. And I actually, I think I almost ran out of andesite and that's why that stops. Yeah, I'm assuming I ran out. But um, I want to, well, let's explore first. So I've continued the road up here. And I just think that's a cool effect you get by walking through this. Like, I don't think it's going to serve a true function. I think it might just be aesthetics because um, it's just too difficult to make a giant gate like this go actually up and fit. But needless to say, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so let's go into creative so I can show you what this is. So what I am thinking is 
kind of towers upon towers <laughs> is what I was going for. So we've got this main tower. Um, and I have already an idea for a roof. I've never built a cone roof before, but we're going to try it. Um, and all of this is probably going to be one block out from where it is um, because there's going to be structure points that stick out. Like this, this is going to be the wall portion. Um, and then it's all going to come out. All the supporting structure and stuff is going to come out. Um, but the idea will be that this will be the entrance area right here. And then there's going to be like a, a hall type thing in here. And it's going to stretch around, probably get rid of this supporting structure here. And it'll stretch around just to here. And so it's a small hall. And it also will be right here. This is all going to be like open, I think. Uh, we're going to have to do some clearing of this mountain area. Um, but it's going to be pretty cool, I think. It's going to be all open on this like floor portion. Oh, man, I am yawning so much right now. But so this is going to be like the floor right here. And then we're going to have a stairway somewhere that leads down. There's going to be another floor section. And then it's going to be It's probably going to be like right here. It's where the next floor will be. So a decent ways, a good ways down, I think. Yeah, that's a good ceiling height. Um, and so this is going to be like a terrace area where he can come out um, to be. And then there will be another stairway down all the way down to a doorway down here to be able to get onto this terrace area. And then if the floor is right, if the floor is right here, then the next floor will be right up here because there's going to be another little baby terrace that sticks out here. And I think that will be good. And I think what we're going to do is not necessarily a winding around staircase. We could do that. We may do that. I don't know. Uh, it might be thin, though. It might be kind of thin. Um, and then the next floor would obviously be like this area right here. And then this would be multiple floors as well. And then there's going to be a balcony on the top somewhere around here that I think will go all the way around a very just thin balcony that you can walk around. But this is what last episode was. And I am actually going to sleep, sleep, sleep. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that's what we did uh, technically in what would have been in this this episode. Um, planned this all out and I am pretty happy with the shape of it. I think it looks pretty cool, especially from far away. If you get far away, I think it looks pretty cool. It's actually, I don't, it's not as big as the temple, but I think it looks pretty dang cool. I really like it. Yeah, I enjoy it. So yeah, sorry that that didn't come out into a video. Um, but at least we can walk through it today. Um, we are not going to be doing that today, uh, mainly because I don't have much in the ways of stone. I have enough for like this project, and then I don't think we really have much else, so I'm going to have to go mining off camera. Um, but, yes, we need a lot of stone for that. <laughs> so we're going to do this today, and this is going to be the inn, and I think it's going to be good. Uh, did I see someone right down here? I totally thought I saw like a graphical bug or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're going to do, we're going to make this an inn and then we may plan, have this area planned out as well. So we can have some more buildings laid out. This is not going to be near as many houses as I may have thought because it's going to be pretty cram packed here. Like this is going to be an inn. And then I was thinking this could be like a blacksmith and have his blacksmithing area be out here. Um, but I also thought it could be like a, uh, carpenter area as well. And maybe blacksmith here, carpenter here. Not really sure. We will play it by ear and see what happens. Um, but I don't think I'll build that on camera. I may build some of it on camera, um, or off camera. I don't know, but yeah. So we're going to be tackling this area here, mainly this build right here. Um, but let me gather up some materials and then I will get back and we will start a building.
All right, so I have some stuff done. Just did the pillars up just so we could uh, not have to do those. And overall, I think it looks like this is going to be a pretty straightforward build. I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. So let's uh, jump on into it. So what I'm thinking is I don't want to make the interior any smaller because it's already pretty dang small. So we're just going to bring all of this up. Um, on to this level here. All right, so that is done. Now we need to figure out what we're going to do on the interior here. Well, not the interior, actually. We need to figure out what we're going to do with the roof, for one. And I think this needs to go up more think what we should do is have this go boop and then andesite this and then we'll go one more oh we don't have any smooth stone let's get some smooth stone i brought this up here because i knew we would need it so we're gonna have this go up and i think this is gonna stay and this is gonna just be like an entry little little way um and then we're gonna have a um, more of a, we're going to have more of the like beds and stuff up here. It's going to be like a bar mixture as well. Um, at least that's what I am kind of envisioning. Um, so let's go there, there, and aside stone. And then what we could do is let's get some cobblestone here and let's go here. And then we'll do broken cobble or broken stone. And then I imagine we have, this is going to be an even roof, isn't it? We this is going to be weird. Hmm, how should we do this? Maybe what we do instead is change this up. Oh, sad. Um, I'm thinking we change this up and make this a weird style roof. Uh, just to see if we can uh, push the design because I'm trying I've been trying recently especially when we planned that out to try and make some slightly weirder shapes for buildings because I think that's more interesting uh, adds a whole lot more interest to things and so I think this is going to be good so this is going to be this is the center area so I think what we're going to do is make this like a, a slanting up type roof, if that makes sense, where there'll be like windows along the top here. Um, and then let's do, uh, let's just do regular brick like this. And then there will be a wall that comes down probably here and comes straight down. And this will come up maybe a slab or something more something something's gonna be here um and so then it's gonna be a little wacky but then we have room for some windows that can go across here if that makes sense maybe what we'll do is not do that and have it so we can have me can we have two tall windows we might be able to see what that looks like just for a second yeah it's gonna look wacky but i think overall it's gonna make for an interesting roof style so let me go ahead and get to doing the roof because I want to see what that's going to look like before we step on ahead with things. So let me go ahead and get that done and then I will be back and we will take a look see at it. All right, so been a little bit since I was able to last record and we've done a little work as you can not really see from this angle. But I got to say, look at this from this this area here, like the castle keep thing is going to look pretty cool and this area does look better i think with we need to get this road figured out um this area does look better the more and more i look at it like i think this area looks really cool especially with that gate looking thing i think it looks cool i'm really excited to see what this place is going to look like when we are finished anything in here N not really no hmm. oh we have bone blocks huh didn't know that this stuff was over here 
interesting. This is starting to turn out. I'm starting to find more and more. Oh, sorry about that. I'm starting to find more and more of those types of things, like chests filled with random things. I keep finding them in the realm of Vastin, which I am sorry that the videos have been so sparse with the realm of Vastin. It's been a little odd to record, as per usual. It seems like I really. Oh, I bet this has stuff. It does. Oh, rockets. I'll take those. Um, it's been a little weird to record, mainly just because I, I haven't really just been able to record much. And so I always start off with the um, this world, Brunvild. I always start off with Brunvild. And if I can get in other episodes, that's when I come out with Realm of Aston and um, Waystone. But yeah, I don't really know. I think, honestly... Well, I'll release a Waystone video moderately soon um, discussing that because, yeah, there's just some things I'm going to have to talk about on that, um, but I'll do that on a Waystone video. I feel like that's a better place for it. Anyway, so I have done some work. So, yeah, I kind of said I was going to do the roof, and then um, now, well, now the whole front is done, basically. I got these because I wanted some flowers up here uh, and I'm so glad that Jerem's made some variations for these because variation just makes everything look better I think uh, especially with the flowers because no one flower is the same but I went with a different type of look than our usual I decided to go it's all stone and stuff like carries over the same place same style as down there but it does look a little different and that's because I did this central wood portion and yeah, I like it. It is weird. Like this area here is very strange. It's going to be weird, but I do quite enjoy it. Uh, I added this also, this little side area. And I think this is going to be like a kitchen for this inn. And I think that looks actually really, really good. Um, so it'll be a little kitchen here. You have access to it here and here and so the idea for the interior which we're going to do now uh we'll finish this wall in, uh, sometime um the idea for this now is let's go ahead and do this Boop, there closed off the idea is i'm going to put a small little bar area here and then along this let's see one two three four five six one two let's go here along here is gonna, huh? I forgot we're on a big plateau. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, along here is going to be a fire pit, and let's centralize it so it's like right here. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we'll put stairs on either side. On this side, I'm not really sure what's gonna go. Maybe we, yeah, maybe we back it up against the wall. That might be better i think that'll be better that'll probably be better um who knows but yes we're gonna have a fire pit and i want it to look kind of like skyrim if you've seen remember skyrim's um area do we have any cobblestone stairs per chance we do um i want it to look like a skyrim type of is this centered? Yes, it is. Okay. Type of um, like a fire pit that Skyrim has. That's what I'm trying to say uh, in the inn because they always have these nice little fire pits and I think it adds so much. And I think that would be a good thing for us to have. And I know this stone is not necessary because we won't see it, but humor me. Um, yeah, I think it's a good thing. And I think that it's something that is necessary for us to have here let's do this here because this this whole floor is going to be all stone basically um i think uh we may do some stairs on either side here yeah i think that'll be good and then some magma blocks or whatever they're called uh right in the center it'll be on fire and then right up here we'll have a release place for smoke and stuff, maybe two. Maybe we'll have one 
I don't know. We'll we'll do a central one that's probably like three wide or something like that. Um, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. So, yeah, I want to talk to you, though, about I got right into the end stuff, and I've already done some things, as, as you can tell. Um, I've been planning some things, as you will see here in a second. So I was trying to plan out um, this area a little bit more to see what it's going to be like, and I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to have the inn. This is going to be one of the bigger builds um, that's up here, and it's not even that really that big. But we're going to have this inn, and then right here I was thinking we could do a blacksmith of some sort. Um, and I'm actually thinking now that, let's get rid of this, we do something to where the blacksmith, no, got any more? Ah, uh, no. Wait, did that just select? No. Oh, I must have selected it, selected it on there. Um, I was thinking maybe we do the blacksmith and have it come along here. And if you remember, if you've ever played Fable, um, in Fable they had a blacksmith in Bowerstone that had a sort of arch. I'll try and do it for you here. Um, they had a blacksmith that had an arch. And I thought maybe we could do that. Let's do there. I don't know if I like that because that's there. Let's do there. Get rid of this. Um, and then let's do here, here. And we'll have to do like here, there, break that. There, there. So we could do something like that. And then have this archway. And I think that could look cool, mainly because then we could have this area be out exterior to the build, and it won't actually be a part of the building itself. Um, and there will be like a doorway here or something like that. So we could do like a doorway there. And then you've got this exterior um, cover. It'll be all covered. Like there'll be a roof and stuff, but it's going to be... I don't know how to put it it'd be essentially it's just like you take a shell of a building and you just like make a tunnel except there will be like a back wall here if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making sense but if you played bowerstone you might remember that that type of thing so it's like this total exterior place and it might actually make more sense to do this like this yeah this probably makes more sense so it lines up with that and then yeah we can do that and then maybe a slab there I don't know. Random thoughts with uh, Pixel Brew. Anyways, so blacksmith, carpenter type of thing, uh, mixture here, maybe just a blacksmith. I'm not sure. And then these little builds, I'm not really sure. We need some more shops. I want this area to be more shop centric. And so I need some shop ideas because we're going to have them going like all along here. And I have ideas and stuff like we could do one that's more of a tower. That's like an alchemy tower. We could do one that is... I don't know. We could do something. Enchanting. Uh, we could do all sorts of things. But I want to have shops. Like this shop will be all by its lonesome right here. These builds, actually, it's just going to be one build, isn't it? This build is going to be, could be multiple things. Like we could do a multi story, like bottom floor shop and then a stairway right here or something to get to the second floor and then um, another third floor or something. I don't know. We could do something like that do like a two-story type shop thing. Um, and then shops going right here. And there will be more planned out. I just only planned these out um, more. They go all the way up to like right here. This will be like the stopping point right here. And then this will be kind of grassy area. Maybe a, a nice little lookout over the market. It's just a nice little area to have a lookout area type of place. Yes. So those are my thoughts on planning this area it's going to be more shop centric um and i need your thoughts on how what or not how but what type of shops we want because that'll shape the build a little bit because if we do alchemy i'm definitely doing some sort of a tower and uh yeah so that's kind of one idea is a uh, alchemy this one's kind of tower shaped and uh we could do that and then I need some other ideas. So if you want a shop, I'll even name it after you. Um, if you want a shop in this town, just give me some ideas. And the ones that I think will fit this place best, 
um, we'll implement and put in. Um, and so then another thing that I've done is I've made the walkway all the way up to here, up to the little keep area. And it's a little bit of a struggle. I originally planned this big old steep swooping thing, but I don't think that's going to work. This is more natural, um, a little easier to walk up. We can use a mixture of slabs and stairs in this way. This is all going to be stairs right here, starting like right here will be stairs. And I don't like this actually coming up over here. Originally, I had thought, well, f fully originally, I had thought this will be the entrance. And then when I was building this, I was like, oh, I could just arch up here because we've got this and we could just bring the wall down to here um, and make the entrance right here. I don't like that. I think what I'm going to do is somehow figure it out to where this actually goes up here. Um, and then there's some some way for them to get up this area over here. I'm not sure how. Yeah, I don't know. See, this was supposed to come up like right here. And then you would actually continue your way up to this level or we would flatten this all the way down to there. And then you could actually like just walk your way from here to here. Um, so that was my thoughts. And one second, my phone is going off. OK, some nonsense health insurance spam call. Um, so yeah, I will figure this out eventually. We may just go with this being the entrance area. It doesn't really matter, but I think this looks more like an entrance. Um, so yes, that is what I have done off camera since our last time that we were together. Um, so now let's get into this. Let me gather materials because I think we're gonna need some wood. And let me replace the floor real quick in here with uh, stone and things so that we can just jump into the interior. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll be back with you. Well. That didn't work. Okay. Well, um, hopefully this is enough to be able to get our stuff back. Um, uh, we will see. I have two ranged weapons. Anything in here? Nothing currently. I do have my bow. I have not used a bow in such a long time. Anybody down here? You are dead. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, there's my stuff. Hey, that's mine, you jerk. Taking my hat. What a jerk. Mine, 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 mine. Um, oh, gosh. I gotta make sure. Ooh, dodged it. Ooh, around the pillar. Ooh, dodged it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he fell down in the hole. That is priceless. Except I really hope he didn't pick up anything of ours. Gonna be extremely upset. But I am gonna go back here in this hole. And let's see. Let's, uh, let's, we're gonna need a chest. Good thing this place is filled with chests. Uh, okay, let's just put some random stuff away in here. Okay, take you off, take you, take you, put you on, put you on. Right? Fire protection four. Oh, wait, I have two pairs of pants with fire protection four. Huh. Nice. Do not mind that. We'll we'll take the Electra. Put that on. This deserves to be here. That goes there. Four. Where's the shovel? Shovel, shovel, oh, found it, man. Ooh, that freaks me out too. Jeez, I made that tunnel look too good because <laughs> that freaked me out. Oh, there's more people. All right, this goes to three and then boots. Okay, we got everything back, I think. And yeah, now there's just a lot of people spawning down here. Just that. Oh my gosh, literally spawning in front of me. Cool. Okay, we got our stuff. Very good. Happy about that. Ooh, 
We dropped some stuff in that chest. I should pick that up. Do I even have room? We'll leave the bones and the arrows in this chest because that seems fitting. Oh, yeah, we have we dropped rockets. Okay, bones. Uh, we'll leave the helmet in there and the boots. We'll take the... Oh, no, bones stay there. We'll take these and rotten flesh. There we go. That's fitting. Ogre. Ogre. Oh, it died. Dang. I hate actually attacking creepers with my with my bow because they usually die in one hit, and I want the uh, I want the extra looting that our sword gets. I wish you could get looting on bows. That would be nice. But okay, back to building. All right. So I had I've done a little bit interior to get things rolling here. And one of which is this portion right here. Now, what I want to do is maybe put that there and then put these here. And I think this is going to be good because this should allow us to have a nice, um, What's it called? Like ventilation area. I think that will be nice. Do we want this closed? Nah, we'll leave that open. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, we could even have this be like this. So if they do want it closed, they can close it up and conserve heat and things like that. I think that could be good. And then what we could do also is take the stairs and wrap them like this and do that. And they can really get a nice tight close on that if they don't need to do any sort of the smoky draining stuff. I think that'll look good. I don't know what that's going to look like on the inside, but let's take a look-see and uh, see. I have replaced all the floors, and uh, we're going to get into talking about that. Come on. All right. Yeah, I think that looks good. That'll be a nice area that you can actually like see some, um, what's it called? You know, that stuff, you know. You can see the smoke going out of it. There we go. So fire pit. Let's take a look-see at that. So what I had thought, I saw Grumpy L do this once, and it's on Vastin, and what he did was actually pretty cool, and I wanted to try and emulate it. So what we are going to do is, I think what we'll do is put a log here, here, and then maybe put a stripped log here. And then we can put some leaves here. And when you light these on fire, um, it looks cool because it is like, I don't know exactly how to explain it. It's like the tree has actually been put here and has been felled if you would um actually let's break it up let's break it up let's act like there are actually um some leaves being burned and i i don't really like the strip log being there so we'll do that something like that or we could do a uh, let's just do some wood like that something like that I think that'll be good because then we can do this like that and then it's like multiple things being burned at once yeah yeah I think that's good I enjoy that that window doesn't make much sense anymore but whatever uh, let's take a nap here as long as we don't get killed by anything so what I'm thinking on the inside Oh, I did experience kinetic energy. Hopefully I remembered to include that clip because that was actually pretty funny. Um, I was flying and then lost control. We'll just um, we'll just leave it at that. Um, definitely wasn't the fact that I wasn't trying to escape by <laughs> flying. Definitely wasn't that. So this is going to be interesting because I actually didn't think this through. Noodles, let me reconfigure. All right, 
things are reconfigured now. So <laughs> the reason that was going to be an issue was the fire is going to be right here and then there are going to be beds up here and we don't want the smoke like being like literally directly in line with the beds. It doesn't really make sense um, because the idea that I've got is to have a platform that walks all the way around. Now we're going to have to have a staircase and I think what we can do is make it go right here um, and then could be like right like that something like that just a really really simple staircase um, and then there's gonna be a area here that is for sleeping and it's going to be let's just fill this wall in for now I'll work it out later very good all right that wall is filled out and what I want to do is put some slabs here all along this center. And this is why I wanted the, I wanted there to be room for beds, but I also need, there needs to be at least a little bit of room for some, what's it called? Like walkway area. There needs to be a little bit of room there for that. And yeah, that wasn't going to make much sense if we uh, had, let's do spruce uh, going right here. And then we can do fencing. Um, and it's not going to be crazy cool to have. Um, yeah, this is going to be hard. This is going to be weird to work this area in because we're going to need some support structures. It's going to be very strange. Let me take a moment and configure this because I really don't know how I'm going to do this. OK, I think I figured out what we can do. So we're going to have a walk uh, like a thing here and we're going to go up and this is where beds will be. Now, I think what's going to have to happen is there's going to have to be some sort of actually I have an idea. A way to solve this is trapdoors. We'll do trapdoors and trap, 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 trap doors. And go like that, and that'll be the railing. I don't know what this is gonna look like, if that'll look any good, but we can give it a look-see. Ah, it adds a little flair. Let's get a little bit more spruce. The issue is we're running out of spruce. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Then you've got this area that can be a nice um, sort of walkway area. And then it's nice and clean like this. I think this is going to be kind of the best solution that we can get. Um, let's do this so we can get this and then shift click these guys right here and go boop, 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 boop break and boop 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 and then reverse it boop 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 boom baby yeah i think this is going to be good i like how what this is uh turned out to be we can put a torch there just for some lighting put the flames down here for lighting down here grab this yeah i think this is going to be a nice little in so the idea now is we will put some sort of um i guess we could do a torch here for now and the idea is that the inns beds are going to be more like that so they will be vertical against the wall and so that's how you'll sleep originally i was going to have them going this way but then that blocks the walkway and makes it awkward so we'll just go here space here space here, space, here. And I think that'll be good. That'll line up well as well. So that will be a good. So yeah, now let's move on. What else? There needs to be a little bar area here and here. And then we can break this and put a block here. So then you've got a little bar area here so that they can go in and out. And then this area, imagine it's easier. This is a safer area to get around this. There's not any protection, but whatever. Um, 
we can do this same thing with this except actually what we could do is reverse it do that do this do that do this bada bing bada boom boom very good we can do that and then do something like this i think that looks good maybe even sure why not why not so we're gonna have this be a little bar area um, sort of thing and then we could have occasional random seating areas like this with some let's do different seats let's do stone seats and we could have some seats like this might as well make this one reverse as well do some stone seats like that and then not much headroom there but you know you live with what you get and then we could do some more seating like along the fireplace here do some nice seats right like that again reverse this and then maybe what we do is we add some uh let's add oak i really like stripped oak as tables i don't know why but i really do one two three let's just grab three of them and put those in the off hand that was unnecessary i know but then we've got like a nice quaint little area very small but i think it's good so we can have like there and here maybe a double wide there and then let's put some more oak table edge one there and one there boom i think that will be good uh, let's get one more oak i think that'll be better yes this is nice i like this it's a very very simple interior but overall i think this is going to be effective so let me go ahead and get some work done on it get some interior decor stuff going and i'll be right back with you all right we are done with this and i i really like what it's looked turned out to look like goodness i am stumbling over words um yeah so it's very similar to what we left off i just added some little decor thingies uh little cups bases and things that are also uh cups and uh, i added this uh, i'm gonna relight this or i might not i don't know depends if i if i remember um but yeah i really like what this has turned out to be you've got your bed area up here very very simple bed area and i think overall this is very effective oh i forgot chests on this side don't have any either um well i will put chests there eventually um but i did the kitchen area as well it's very cramped and cozy and things um we do need do we have any torches no We'll need to put some torches in here, but added some storage up above, added some frying pans and all that stuff. Again, these are Jeremy paintings, um, so these are paintings. Um, added a nice stove area that goes out to the top area place thing outside world. That's it. Coat hangers and stuff all around the place, and this leads back outside. And that's what that little thing looks like. I think that looks good. I am very happy with how this has turned out. But I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. If you like the video, feel free to leave a like in real life. And if you enjoy what we've got going and things, um, then do feel free to subscribe. Join our little family. And I'm trying to stall so I can finish these chests. Um, but yeah, if you, like, if you like the video, leave a like in real life. And if you enjoyed the video then feel free to subscribe join the little family we've got going here and i will see you guys in the next episode